guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my moisturizers for fall and winter time. We're now getting to the time where we gotta start thinking about switching up our skincare products and I'm gonna be sharing the products that I'm going to be switching over to for the colder months. Now, I recently just uploaded a video on my cleansers that I'm gonna be switching out for fall and winter as well. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link that below for you as well and up here so that you can check that out later on if you're interested but moisturizers are very important to switch out as well for the colder months so I'm gonna be sharing my moisturizers with you and of course before we get started if you could subscribe to my channel and ring that bell that way you're never gonna miss any of my future videos on skincare and all things beauty and I upload videos every single week so let's get right into the video so like I've mentioned before, when it comes to the colder months, you definitely want to start looking at your skincare products and start taking out products and incorporating different ones depending on if you do have dry skin and if your skin changes a lot during the winter months, you do want to use products that are going to help you and keeping your skin at bay. So what I like to do is I do like to switch out my moisturizers and cleansers for more hydrating ones and I like to sometimes switch out my serums as well depending on what I'm using. Now of course I'm still going to be using using my glycolic acid and a lot of my AHA products, my Retin-A, of course I'm still going to be using those products, but those products can also dry your skin out. So when it comes to the colder months, you really do need to start incorporating more hydrating products like cleansers and moisturizers that are going to help with those issues during the colder months. Now the first product that I'm going to be sharing with you is by The Ordinary and this is the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid and it looks like this right here. Now I have talked about this one before in my ordinary empties video which I will link below for you and I did say that I liked it in that video but that wasn't going to repurchase it for a little while because I was enjoying the CeraVe PM facial lotion which I still do love and that I'm still using but I find that the ordinary natural moisturizing factors is a little bit more hydrating so I'm definitely going to be incorporating this into my fall and winter skincare routine and this is very very affordable this is the 100 ml which is your 3.3 fluid ounce and they do have a smaller version of this as well which I believe is a 30 mil so this retails at for about eight dollars here in Canada so it's very affordable and a little bit does go a long way and this feels really nice on the skin I really like this one because it does have hyaluronic acid dermal lipids as well as amino acids so it does have a lot of good skin benefiting ingredients in this which I really like and this really does sit nicely with other serums it does work really good underneath your SPF as well if you are using it in the morning. So this is good to use in the morning as well as nighttime. This is also good for all skin types and this is a very good product. Now the shelf life on this is 12 months but if this is going to be strictly your moisturizer for the fall and winter time you're definitely going to have to probably repurchase a couple of these to get you through the colder months but it's so affordable. So even if you do buy two or three of these during the colder months you're still winning. It's still going to be very beneficial. It's still affordable and it's a good product all around. You can't go wrong with any of the ordinary products. They truly have a really good line and their line is effective and affordable and that's why I love the ordinary so much. So I would really recommend this product. It's very nice. I will show you what it looks like on the back of my hand here in case you haven't tried this product before. It does look like that there just like your traditional moisturizer and it does rub into the skin really nicely and it just feels really nice in the skin and it's very hydrating as well. So as you can see it rubs in really quickly and I just love it. So I would highly recommend The Ordinary. It's a good one. Now the next product that I'm going to be sharing with you is by the brand called Mad Hippie and it's their advanced skincare face cream for all skin types. Now this is what it looks like here. I've actually never talked about this brand on my channel yet so it's fairly new to me. I just recently started using this brand a few weeks ago so so far I've been really enjoying the moisturizer and there's a lot of good ingredients in it and it's going to really be moisturizing for the colder months. So this has peptides in it, argan oil, resveratrol and there's also some other ingredients like aloe vera, matrixyl sin 6, niacinamide, it has vitamin E, white tea, it also has green tea extracts, enzyme Q10. There's a lot of good ingredients jam-packed in this product. Now there is a pump on the top like this so it really is nice when it pumps out and I will pump it out to show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. So it does look like that there, really no different than the ordinary one and it rubs in really nicely as well and I believe that this one is a little bit more hydrating than the ordinary one in my opinion and I 
do have to say that this does have a scent to it. So the Ordinary absolutely has no fragrance in it. This does have a scent to it and it's very floral in my opinion. And I don't mind it. I think it's a very nice scent but I know that there are a lot of people out there that don't like fragrance in their products. But I can definitely handle this. It is a nice scent but just know that there is a floral scent to this. So if you are sensitive you may want to skip out on this moisturizer. But this one is very nice. You can use this in the morning as well as nighttime and this is good for all skin types. Now I do have to let you know with this product that I cannot use this in the morning because this definitely reacts with my sunscreen and my face starts to pill like you would not believe. I've tried it a couple of different ways. I've eliminated a serum, eliminated a sunscreen and used a different type of sunscreen and for some reason it still pills on my face and that is not cool. So I found that this is really good to use at night time for me so on certain nights of the week I will switch out my moisturizers and I will incorporate this a couple of times a week at night time so this might work for you in the morning but it definitely does not work for me and I have to strictly use this at night time because I definitely experience a lot of pilling in the morning when I'm using this product so I don't know why it's pilling I for some reason the ingredients in this is obviously reacting to my sunscreen or some of my other serums I don't know but it's not fun so this is strictly used at nighttime I really do like it and it really is hydrating and when you wake up the next morning your skin really does have a nice glow to it as well so I would highly recommend this one it really is a nice product again if you are sensitive to scents this may not be for you but overall it is a good one now the next product that I have here is by the brand called fresh and this is the Lotus youth preserve face cream with super 7 complex and it looks like that right there this is the smaller mini size version of the larger size. This is only 15 mils of product and the larger size is 50 mils of product. But I had never used this product before so I wanted to purchase the smaller size to see if I was going to like it and to see if my skin can tolerate this product as well. So I always like to get the mini sizes just to try out before I purchase the larger size. And I also wanted to know if this was going to be a good moisturizer for the fall and winter time as well. So this is what it looks like inside and this is very hydrating as well. I would have to say that this is more hydrating than the Ordinary as well as the Mad Hippie. So this is really hydrating. Your face feels so nice when you put it on your skin and when you wake up the next morning your skin still looks and feels hydrated as well which I really like. Now this does have a scent to it as well but it definitely is not as strong as the Mad Hippie one. The Mad Hippie one is definitely more fragranced. This one does have a fragrance but it's more subtle and it still is a floral smell as well. This this one is a really nice moisturizer. Now you can use this in the morning as well as nighttime and I have used it morning as well as night. It worked really well with my other products and this was a really good one to add for my morning and nighttime skincare routine. Now this has maca root extract in it which gives luminosity to your skin. So it gives you a really nice glowing appearance to your skin when you are using this. So using this in the morning is really going to give you that nice luminous look to your skin. So when you do go Go and put your makeup on top of it that luminosity still kind of shines through a little bit which is really nice so if you're not into that type of finish to the skin then just use it at nighttime and use a different moisturizer in the morning but this one really is good for morning and nighttime and I love the way that this feels on the skin and as you know fresh is a really good brand they have a lot of clean and natural ingredients in their products they are also considered a clean brand at Sephora as well so I really love fresh I I use a lot of their lip tints as well. Their lip balms are amazing and I absolutely love the Fresh line. So if you're looking for another alternative for the fall and winter time, this might be another option for you. And this is also good for all skin types as well. Now the last moisturizer that I'm gonna be sharing with you is by The Drunk Elephant. And this is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this is to help strengthen and moisturize your skin. Now I've talked a lot about this product as well in some of my videos on my channel. And I really love this moisturizer moisturizer as well. Now I will let you know that this one is a lot lighter in consistency than the Drunk Elephant La La Retro which is the one that is purple here. I also love the La La Retro as well. It is more moisturizing than this but I do like the peptides that are jam packed in this product. Now Drunk Elephant actually just came out with a new La La Retro that has ceramides in it. So I did get a little sample of that through Sephora. I did make an order a week ago and I did get a little sample 
of that for 100 points. So I haven't tried it yet, but I know that that one's going to be probably really good as well. I haven't been using this one much in the summer months, so I still have quite a bit of product in this container. So I will be incorporating this into the fall and winter months as well because this still is really hydrating as well. But if you have super, super dry skin, then you're going to want to go with the La La Retro one as that is a thicker consistency of a moisturizer. So I really like this one. You're getting 50 mils of product. This one is more pricey and this is the most expensive moisturizer that I'm talking about today. So between the Mad Hippie, the Ordinary, as well as the Fresh, this is the most expensive product. I have used this many times. This is probably my third or fourth container of this and I truly love this product. This one works really well with all of my serums, works really good underneath my SPF and my makeup. So this can be used morning and nighttime. Now this has nine signal peptide complex, water lily stem cell extracts. It also has soybean folic acid extracts as well. So there's a lot of good ingredients jam packed in this product as well. And this is a really good addition to add to your fall and winter skin routine. So I really like this one. I love all of the moisturizers that I've shared with you today. This one also does not have a scent to it either and it's got a really nice pump at the top. So if you've never used a Drunk Elephant product before, you just have to push down on this button here, which I'm not going to do because the product will come out, but you push down once and it will give you the perfect amount of product to add to your face. And of course if you need more, you can just do a half a pump and then go down your neck with the rest of it. So I really like this because you're not going to get any bacteria that's going to form in this product and when you do use it all up it really does use every last bit of cream in this product. So I highly recommend all of these moisturizers for you. I will be doing a fall and winter skincare routine for my morning and nighttime. I'm going to be doing that pretty soon and I will be filming that to share with you. So you're going to see the products that I'm starting to incorporate for my fall and winter skincare routine, the cleansers that I'm going to be using, the moisturizers as well as my serums. So if you haven't already seen my current morning and nighttime skincare routine, I will link those videos below for you so that you can check that out if you're curious to see what I'm currently using. But I do like to vamp things up a little bit come the colder months, so stay tuned and I will have those videos coming soon. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you did find it helpful. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below like you've been doing and I'll definitely get back with you as soon as I can. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.